So, you left the club at 12.45? Around then, yeah. How do you know? Did you check the time? Well, yeah, this uh, really hot um, blonde chick had asked me, um, I thought she was flirting with me, but she had asked me what time it was. Um, I thought she was flirting with me, but she just wanted the time. Mm. You wear a watch? Use your phone, right? <laughs> Can't believe a watch isn't uses anything but jewelry these days. I mean, no one tells time from a watch anymore, am I right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a new world. That it is. So you spent a few hours at the club. What, by yourself or? No, I was with a friend. Um, he uh, met this chick and he blew me off. Wow. Sounds like a real dick. All right, so you're... Flying solo, no wingman, and uh, struck out, right? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good night. Like, you know, uh, attractive women, they know they're hot, and, you know, that makes them stuck up. Mm. Well, that's why you gotta find an attractive one the inside first. I, I tried to get inside, but, like, um, you know, like you said, I struck out. <laughs> and funny. A funny fucking guy. So tell me exactly what you saw. I, mean, I know you told the office, but tell me again. And be specific. Be very specific. Look, um, I was walking down 8th Street, and um, these two guys grabbed this guy in a suit, um, and this black van pulled up, and then they, they like threw him in the van, and um, you know they were in ski masks, so I couldn't even tell you what they looked like. Wow. I mean, that sounds like seeing in a movie, huh? A plate number. You happen to get a plate number? Or? There was no plate number. I, I guess they had removed it. Most people, they you know, take out their phones, they record situations like this. That didn't occur to you? To be honest, I, I was just like frozen. Like, I mean, that shit was crazy. And this happened at 1 a.m.? Uh, around then, yeah. So the club is on 14th Street? You live up in Hell's Kitchen. What are you doing on 8th Street? All right, look, I was depressed that like, you know, I struck out, so there's like this dive bar on 8th Street um, where, you know, the women go that aren't too attractive, you know. So just a coincidence then that you just happened to be there when they took this guy. And you never reported it to the police. I mean, we just happened to catch you on surveillance. If I had anything to do with it, why would I be there watching it happen? I don't know. An arsonist like to watch it burn. Where do you work? Assistant manager at White Castle. White Castle. Wow, diarrhea capital of the world, huh? Can I go? I, I didn't do anything. So two guys grabbed some dude in a suit, a black van pulled up, they threw him inside and took off. You don't know who that guy was. You didn't even recognize him. No. Well, let's just say he's very well known. Where was this dive bar? Um. I don't know, like, I don't know, it's like, like I know where it is, but I don't know like the address. Okay, well what's it called? Shit, I forget. So let's be clear. If you really didn't have anything to do with this, you're gonna be shocked when you find out who was kidnapped tonight. And if you did have a part in this, we're gonna find out. Now, stop bullshitting me about this imaginary dive bar where ugly women wait for guys to fuck them and tell me where you were going. Fine, I was buying some weed. There, there's this 24 hour pizza place. This guy sells weed out of it. I, I mean, come on, I was just buying a dime bag. I mean, isn't weed about legal nowadays? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not trying to bust you for marijuana possession, man. Relax. You got anything else? Yeah, I, I think, I, I can't be positive, but, um, I heard him yelling, uh, I'll have it tomorrow when they threw him in the van. And um, for a second though, I thought like he was singing that song from Annie. You know, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Wait, that's probably not what someone would um, be doing when they're getting abducted, right? No, probably not. 